The first invention that Thomas Edison received money from was the professional stock printer he sold to Marshall Lefferts of the Gold Stock Indicator Company in 1869. He received $40,000 for this invention. The telegraph key is very important in Edison's life as he saves Station Master J.U. McKenzie's son from a runaway train and to repay him for what he had done, Mr. McKenzie taught Edison telegraphy. In this photo, of course, we have Edison and Marshall Lefferts looking over a model of his stock printer. And this was Thomas Edison somewhere around in the 1919s. The Edison phonograph of 1893, the Class M, was an exhibitor's machine and was not for public consumption because the machines were very expensive and could be rented for $20 a year. This photo of Thomas Edison was taken at the studios of Matthew Brady shortly after he had demonstrated the phonograph for the President of the United States. This is the actual machine that John Cruzy constructed out of Thomas Edison's plans in 1877 and is the machine that Thomas Edison spoke the famous words, Mary had a little lamb, her fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. The machine used tinfoil, which wrapped around the drum, and the helical groove into the cylinder caused the metal stylus, which was connected to a mica diaphragm, to go in and out to the vibrations and sound. In 1888, Edison improved the phonograph by using a wax cylinder and then improved it in 1889 by using metallic soap. But this machine is the machine that created sound recording and now a whole recording industry is revolving around this invention of audio recording and reproduction invented at Menlo Park, New Jersey in 1877. And then this machine in 1888. One of the recorders is uh, in position, and then a playback stylus goes into position by turning the spectacle. And this machine is run by 2 volts at 2 amp electric battery. This is a later version of the spectacle model used for business use in about 1910. In about 1910, Edison improved the storage battery by introducing the nickel iron storage battery and this electric car was used to test the durability of Edison's storage battery. There is a photo of Edison above with the 10,000 mile run of this car and the battery. Edison invented motion pictures in the early 1890s. This was a sound film called the Kinetophone, and was introduced about 1913 that a synchronized cylinder with the film, the cylinder contained the audio for the film. We are in the visitor center right now of the Edison Laboratory at West Orange, New Jersey, now known as the Edison National Historical Park. Edison invented the motion pictures in the 1890s. These are Edison cameras for taking motion pictures and then a small home projector sold to public. The machine with the cylinder was an early form of kinetoscope, which uh, used pictures in a spiral and you viewed them through a peephole. And this is the original camera, motion picture camera, which uses parts of an Edison fan and an Edison Class M phonograph. And again, we go back to some of Edison's motion picture inventions. The one in the back was around a 1900, 1890s, late 1890s Edison projector, the wooden one, behind the kinetoscope viewer. And then, of course, this is the uh, camera to take the pictures that was in the Black Mariah. William K. L. Dixon. Uh, work with Edison on the motion pictures, and this is the camera to take the motion pictures in the Black Mariah. The Black Mariah was the world's first motion picture studio in West Orange, New Jersey. It could be rotated to see uh, the sun so that the sunlight would go in and you could make nice motion pictures by following the sun. 
And here is Thomas Edison demonstrating or testing a projector. And this is one of the uh, cinema projectors. In 1912, Edison came out with the Edison Diamond Disc Phonograph. And this is the 1912 model, A250. And we see, of course, this is the 1888 model of the perfected phonograph that used the two volt batteries. And in this, we see a wax master made of lead stereo to Montan wax, the master mold, and then the finished record made of condensite, which is paraffin and linden mine. In 1890, Edison came out with a talking doll. It was kind of a failure, but it was the first recording artists were the women who actually made these cylinders, were the first paid professional recording artists. But this was the Edison talking doll. So we are in the Visitor Center at the Edison National Historical Park in West Orange, New Jersey, on October 18th, 2003. October 18th happens to also be the day that Thomas Edison passed away in 1931. We have a long-waisted Marianne, which produced electricity for the early Edison system of electric light. It is a DC dynamo, in other words, and it was known as the long-waisted Marianne. You can also put voltage into it and use it as a motor as well. In fact, it was used on Edison's early electric railway. We are seeing some of the mains works, the mains that would be under street. At the time, there was telephone poles, telegraph poles, and Edison did not want to tax them any more than they were already were with all these lines, so he uh, wanted to put electricity underground. Here are some Edison appliances, Edicraft, the uh, iron and the toaster. These are items that were made by Thomas A. Edison Incorporated. This would be a dynamo you would find on a ship, little one that we just see. And of course, we're back to the long-waisted Marianne, which provided electricity for the first uh, electric light. Edison had the idea of a poured cement house, and this is a model of that construction using an iron mold, where you could pour a house in one day to produce the uh, Edison poured concrete house. Some of these houses still exist in a subdivision in New Jersey. Edison even tried to make concrete phonographs as well. There are still some of these houses that exist in New Jersey to this day, and you can go and see them. They were built in 1909 and was supposed to be affordable housing for workers. Uh, not much became of the project later on, but it proved that it could be done. This is a kinetoscope parlor. 